Hello. This video is intended to help you successfully navigate the process of promotion and tenure at Point Loma Nazarene University. By this time, you've already invested yourself in the university, developing courses, advising students, sitting on committees, participating in faculty meetings, and advancing your scholarship. Point Loma Nazarene University has also invested in you, supporting your growth as a teacher, as a scholar, and as a colleague. In academia, promotion and tenure are important processes that provide the professor with an opportunity to document her or his valuable pedagogical, scholarly and service contributions to the university, and for the university, in turn, to both reward and show continued support for the professor's work. Although applications for promotion and tenure will contain similar and overlapping documentation, the two processes are not identical. Promotion, whether it is from assistant professor to associate professor, or from associate professor to full professor, requires the faculty member to meet certain standards. The application for promotion, thus, must demonstrate that the faculty member has met or exceeded the expectations outlined in the faculty handbook. Promotion, once granted, is associated with a move up the salary pay scale. Tenure, on the other hand, recognizes the co-investment of the university and the faculty member, validating and strengthening their mutual commitment to each other's success. Prior to tenure, the faculty member receives one-year contracts comparable to a one-year extension on a visa granted to a foreign citizen. With tenure, the faculty member receives the security of a continued contract as long as they and their program are in good standing comparable to the granting of citizenship. Now let's take a look at the calendar. First, let's look at the yearly schedule most of you will follow as you seek promotion and tenure. In your third year, you must submit a mid-tenure review. This review is intended to give you important feedback on your progress toward obtaining tenure. For many of you, you can also apply for promotion to associate professor in your third year. Exactly when you will apply for this promotion depends on a number of variables. First, your level of experience at higher will determine when you are first eligible to apply for promotion to associate professor. If you started at Point Loma Nazarene University as a beginning assistant professor, you will most likely be eligible to apply for promotion to associate professor at the beginning of your third year. But if you started teaching at the university at a different level of experience, as an instructor or as an associate professor with several years of experience elsewhere, you will be eligible for promotion at an earlier or at a later time. Your dean will be able to tell you when you are first eligible to apply for promotion to associate professor. Second, you can personally decide to delay submitting your application for promotion to associate professor. That is, if you reach your third year and you feel that you need another year or two to meet the promotion standards, you can choose to wait until you've strengthened your application. This promotion, if awarded, would become effective in the following year. An unsuccessful application will not automatically result in the loss of employment at Point Loma Nazarene University. The next important application date is your sixth year at Point Loma Nazarene University. At the beginning of this year, you must apply for tenure. If tenure is granted, it will become effective in your seventh year. If tenure is not granted, you will be given a one-year terminal contract. Although you do not need to successfully apply for promotion to associate professor in your third year, you do need to attain associate professor status prior to your tenure application. Finally, you must spend four years at the associate professor level before becoming a full professor. If you became an associate professor in your fourth year, you can apply for promotion to full professor at the beginning of your seventh year. This promotion, if granted, would become effective in your eighth year. As with the promotion to associate professor, 
you can delay this application until you feel you have met the standards for promotion. While this is the typical promotion and tenure schedule, not all of you will follow this precise calendar. For example, your schedule will be different if you were hired as an associate or full professor. Your schedule will also be different if you came in with less experience or need to meet other standards outlined in the faculty handbook, and thus will need additional years as an assistant professor before you can seek your first promotion. You may also decide to delay your application for a promotion if you believe that will help you strengthen your application. Finally, certain significant life events, such as a major illness, the birth of a child, or an adoption, may alter your tenure schedule. In all cases, faculty members should discuss their tenure and promotion schedule with their dean. Next, let's discuss the rubrics associated with tenure and promotion. To assist faculty in this important process, Point Loma Nazarene University has provided rubrics by which the promotion and tenure applications will be evaluated. There are five rubrics. One, commitment to Christ and Christian higher education. Two, teaching. Three, scholarship. Four, service. And five, collegiality. The first four rubrics are used both for promotion and for tenure while the fifth rubric on collegiality is only used for mid-tenure and tenure applications. While the rubrics are the same for all promotion and tenure applications, the passing score for each type of application may be different. For example, shown here is the rubric for commitment to Christ and Christian higher education. As shown on this rubric, for promotion to associate professor, you must score at least a level two on all standards. For promotion to full professor and for tenure, you must score at least a level two on all standards and a level three on at least one standard. For the other rubrics, there may be different passing scores for associate professor, full professor, and for tenure. These passing scores are listed at the bottom of each rubric. Now let us briefly look at each rubric in turn. First, the rubric for commitment to Christ and Christian higher education. As a Christian institution, Point Loma Nazarene University expects that each faculty member will actively live out Christian commitments. You should be able to articulately describe how your life evidences, one, a personal commitment to Christ, two, a commitment to Christian community, and three, a commitment to PLNU as an institution of Christian higher education. Second, the rubric for teaching. As an institution of higher education, Point Loma Nazarene University places a high value on teaching. Each year you will receive feedback on your teaching in the form of student evaluations. You will also receive yearly feedback via chair and peer evaluations. All of these evaluations will become part of your promotion and tenure applications. Third, the rubric for scholarship. Point Loma Nazarene University believes that active scholarship can support good teaching and the broader mission of the university. As such, you are expected to actively contribute to your field of expertise or to apply your knowledge in a scholarly way. Point Loma Nazarene University follows the Boyer model of scholarship, which recognizes the equally important scholarships of application, discovery, integration, and teaching. Definitions of these types of scholarship are found in the faculty handbook. You might also want to read Ernest Boyer's seminal book, Scholarship Reconsidered, Priorities of the Professoriate, or more recent books that discuss his work. Valid scholarship requires some level of external validation, typically in the form of a peer review. You should provide evidence of a scholarly agenda. This evidence includes unpublished scholarly outcomes that will ultimately lead to peer-reviewed scholarship as well as rigorously peer-reviewed scholarship. Because recognized scholarship varies between disciplines, each department has defined what counts as valid scholarship. You should ask your department chair for the document produced by your department. Fourth, the rubric for service. Point Loma Nazarene University is also a community that depends on the active involvement of faculty within their departments and across the campus. 
it is expected that you will faithfully attend department meetings and contribute to the extracurricular work of the department. It is also expected that you will regularly attend faculty meetings. After your first year at Point Loma Nazarene University, you will further be expected to advise students and to regularly sit on campus committees and or task forces. Finally, the evaluation for collegiality will only be used for assessing mid-tenure review and tenure applications and is rated on your annual faculty evaluation. Collegiality is important for our work together, but is also commonly misunderstood. Collegiality does not mean a facile tolerance of others or lack of any disagreement. Collegiality thus doesn't mean that we will all think identically, but that we will treat each other with respect, even as we disagree or work through difficult issues. Now let us turn to the actual preparation of the application. In the spring prior to each application, you must submit a letter of intent to your department chair, your dean, and the provost. This letter must be submitted by the first Friday in May, as indicated in the faculty handbook. Your application will be due in the fall, on the first Friday after Labor Day, as indicated in the faculty handbook. Your application must include a cover letter that summarizes your application. Your application must also include an updated curriculum vita. Copies of your student evaluations, peer evaluations, self-chair evaluations, and committee evaluations will be provided by the deans for the committee. If there are any areas you would like to highlight or further address in these evaluations, please do so in the appropriate essay as described below. These essays will address the different areas of evaluation for promotion and tenure, including 1. Commitment to Christ and Christian Higher Education, 2. Teaching, 3. Scholarship, and 4. Service. First, Commitment to Christ and Christian Higher Education. This essay can be written as two separate essays or as a single essay, depending on your personal preference. You must articulately describe and provide evidence of your commitment to Christ and to the Church. You must also articulately describe and provide evidence of how your Christian commitments underpin your broad commitment to Christian higher education and your particular commitment to the mission of Point Loma Nazarene University. Second, your essay on teaching should describe your philosophy of teaching, commitment to teaching excellence, evidence for continual teaching improvement, and any notable low scores or evaluations. This essay should highlight your teaching evaluations, including student, peer, and chair, the strengths and weaknesses of your teaching, and how you have used this feedback to strengthen your teaching. You should also include in this essay other methods you have used to critically assess and improve your work with students. Third, your essay on scholarship should summarize your scholarly work such that it is understandable for colleagues across the campus. You should provide evidence that your scholarship meets the definitions of unpublished scholarly outcomes and rigorously peer-reviewed scholarship as outlined by your department. Along with this essay, you may submit published articles, pictures, and or links to your scholarly products. Finally, your essay on service should list and describe your work as an advisor, on departmental committees, and across campus. You should describe tasks you have successfully completed for your department and for the broader campus community. In terms of feedback, the promotion and tenure applications will be assessed in the fall by the Faculty Status Committee. Their recommendations will be submitted to the President who will in turn submit his recommendations to the Board of Trustees. Following the fall meeting of the Board of Trustees, the Provost will contact each faculty member with a final decision. The mid-tenure review applications will be assessed in the spring by the Faculty Status Committee. Their evaluations will be submitted to the faculty member's department chair and dean. The department chair and dean will subsequently meet with the faculty member to discuss her or his progress toward tenure. In conclusion, we hope this video has helped clarify the promotion and tenure process. We are excited that you have become a member of the Point Loma Nazarene University community and hope you will succeed here. Our goal is to encourage and support excellent faculty who will become guardians of the mission of Point Loma Nazarene University. Come join us.